Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about virtualization. One of my favorite topics. Virtualization is the process of simulating hardware and software on a single physical computer in a virtual environment. A more simple definition of virtualization is it's the creation of virtual rather than actual version of something such as operating system, processor, network resources, memory, storage devices, server and so on. The purpose of doing this is to efficiently utilize the resources of a physical computer. Basically, virtualization allows companies to partition a single physical computer or server into multiple virtual computers, commonly known as virtual machines. Each virtual machine runs its own operating system and application on a single server and acts like an independent computer, even though it's running on a portion of a physical or host computer's hardware. You really cannot tell the difference whether you are on a virtual machine or on a physical computer. Let's take an example for a better insight. Imagine your company has three different physical servers with individual dedicated purposes such as mail, database and web services. All are having three different operating systems and all are being used at about 30%, not using the full capacity rest of the energy is being wasted. So instead of using three different servers for individual purposes, one server can do the work more efficiently by consolidating all the servers into one powerful server. So basically one server can do the work in place of three servers. As you can see this server is running three different virtual machines, operating systems and applications. More importantly, full capacity of the server is being utilized. So by creating multiple virtual machines on a single server, virtualization improves scalability and workloads while resulting in the use of fewer servers, less energy consumption, less infrastructure cost and maintenance. It is the most efficient way to reduce expenses and boost efficiency. Here is an important point to remember. You can create and run as many virtual machines as you like as long as the host computer's CPU, RAM and other resources allow. This is what virtualization is all about. Pretty simple and easy to understand. Now the question is how virtualization works? Well, it happens with the help of a hypervisor, which is a software used to create and run virtual machines. It uses physical resources like CPU, RAM and storage device to allow us to virtually use and share these resources to support multiple guest virtual machines. When we use a hypervisor, we run different virtual machines, operating system and applications side by side and still share the same virtualized hardware resources. There are two types of hypervisors, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 also known as bare metal hypervisors. They are installed directly on top of a physical computer's hardware, which means there is no existing operating system on the computer. Bare metal hypervisors act as a lightweight operating system and mainly used in virtual servers. They control hardware and virtual machines. Type 1 examples are Zen, VMware ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, KVM and a few more. Type 2 also known as hosted hypervisors installed and run on top of the existing operating system of the host machine. They run as a software program on top of the traditional operating system such as Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. Virtual machines are created and managed through the host operating system. Examples are VMware Workstation, VMware Player and VirtualBox. Now let's talk about the common types of virtualization. Server virtualization enables multiple operating systems to run on a single physical server. Network virtualization used to create virtual networks, load balancing and firewall features. Storage virtualization combines multiple network storage devices into a single storage device where multiple users can access it. Data virtualization consolidates all of your data into one source and can be accessed from various sources with different formats in multiple locations. With application virtualization, you can access applications from device other than the one on which the application is installed. 
Finally, desktop virtualization. It separates the desktop environment from the physical device. That allows you to access all your personal files and applications on any computer from anywhere. Benefits of virtualization. Security. You can use virtual firewalls to secure data and applications so they can be protected from various threats. Reliability. You can rely on your virtual environments to efficiently handle disaster recovery and perform any necessary backups or retrieval functions. Cost savings. Virtualization software is less expensive and requires less hardware to run. Efficiency. Virtualization requires fewer physical servers. So we don't need to spend much time in maintaining a lot of physical servers, which boost efficiency, disaster recovery and downtime. We can create backups of virtual machines in case of disaster, which enhances resiliency and reduces downtime. Finally, portability. Virtual machines can easily be transferred to a new machine because they are just like software files. Alright, so this was all about virtualization. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.